Hello, welcome to the channel, subscribe and leave your like. Currently, bringing someone back to life is only possible in fiction films and series. However, the Alcor Life Extension Foundation believes that in the future this practice will be a reality. The clinic, located in the state of Arizona, in the United States, founded in 1972, keeps the bodies of 200 people and about 100 pets cryopreserved. Such patients are kept in cylindrical tanks filled with liquid nitrogen and at sub-zero temperatures. For the institution, the medical technology of the future will make it possible to restore the health of people who died as a result of diseases for which we still do not have a cure, such as cancer and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, among others. What is the process and how much does it cost? The cryopreservation process begins as soon as the person is declared dead. According to Alcor, even if the person is declared legally dead, he is at the beginning of the death process, with cells and organs still usable. Up to two hours after death, blood circulation and breathing are artificially maintained to protect the brain. During this step, the patient is cooled and their blood is replaced with a solution to preserve the organs. Up to 24 hours later, the patient receives cryoprotectants in their bloodstream to prevent the freezing from damaging their organs. Between 5 and 7 days after death, the patient is cooled to minus 196 degrees Celsius, thus, according to the institution, the process of death has been interrupted and the body can be stored in a tank with liquid nitrogen for decades. According to Reuters, the minimum cost charged by the institution is $200,000 to store an entire body and $80,000 to keep just the brain. Also according to Reuters, in general, Alcor clients pay for their services by naming the company as a beneficiary of life insurance policies. Research Behind Cryopreservation and Physician Skepticism According to Alcor's website, in 2004, the institution published a scientific article in the journal Annals of the New York Academy of Science demonstrating that the preservation of a mammal's brain was possible using a vitrification solution developed by the company. Another research, this time published in a book edited by the company itself, points out that nematodes, a kind of worm, vitrified and revived by the company kept their long-term memories. Despite research, cryonics, however, has no scientific backing. In an interview with Reuters, Dr. Arthur Kaplan, who heads the Medical Ethics Division at New York University, said the notion of freezing bodies and later reviving them is naive and only excites people who are interested in selling this kind of stuff. Of service. Another critic of cryonics methods is professor and neuroscientist Clive Cohen of King's College London, for whom belief in cryonics reveals a terrible ignorance of biology. Until the next video.